my show and there's a lot of different stuff going on so I'm trying to show us something different so for me to bring him up was like it was crazy and you know we come up at a good time a couple of people were out and you know around the way so just for them to see him and, and, and feel him and be like this guy came to North Preston I was like oh like you know, he didn't go nowhere else he came to North Preston you know what I'm saying and you know, he can probably tell you like how it went you know yeah. like what was it what was it like up there to you, for you it was a good experience you know my first time here you know the road brought me out here been my host and been showing me around the city showing me how everything you've done you know went to where he's from you know and that's that's the hometown you know he kind of educated me on the history you know and, you know how everything was back in the day and to how it is now you know there's been changes but you know north preston is still north preston you know that's the, that's the home for, for, for canada yeah and you're like you're from like a long community in toronto too right like or Vaughn. Yeah, yeah, so do you see any it's similar. That's kind of like, similarities? That's, like, that's in what sense. I was kind of trying to like show him and Luke. It's like, you know, North Preston's, it's the history is different. It's like when I first came mm -hmm. to Toronto, people always like, what's your what's your background? I'm like, I don't really have a background. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I do, but like they're used like he's Jamaican and yeah. what else are you? Bajan. Bajan. Luke's from England and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bajan, you know, so like that's their answer. But for me, it's like, I'm from Scotia. I mean, what does that mean? But it goes deeper than that. It goes to back to 200 years, you know what I'm saying? 400 years, Harriet Tubman coming through the Underground Railroad. So I would have to break that story down to people every time. And now I just tell them to Google it, you know? But that history is different, and, and people don't really think there's a lot of black people in Canada. Mm -hmm. I mean, Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. Canada in general, but then Nova Scotia, you would never think that. So mm -hmm. it was good for them to come back and see that and, and you know, feel that history, and you know, we give them a little history lesson and stuff. So Definitely. Were you surprised that, like, the the atmosphere, I guess, like the vibe of the community, like when you went up there, or is that kind of what you expected? Uh, I wasn't really surprised, mm -hmm. nothing like that. You know, I seen pictures and one two video of him back home, <laughs> so I kind of knew what it was like. But you know, it was cool going up there, mm -hmm. you know, seeing new people. You know, it was, keep seeing people excited, you know, just living life. Right. Uh, just on the block, just chilling. Just chilling. Do you have anything to add to? Him? It was a good experience. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we went out there. Luke got a couple numbers and stuff. Yeah, you know? I was wondering about so if you guys Luke had any girls. You know, <laughs> it wasn't really, it wasn't really nothing there like that. No, you I know. know. It was a couple, couple cousins. Couple things. <laughs> like you know, so like, nah. it was late, wasn't it? It was, it was late. Nighttime. Yeah, it was definitely late. It was, it was yeah. cool though. And I think that's actually better. I think it was yeah, it was cool because like it was a small group of people and they mm -hmm. kind of just get to see like you're a real person too. Kind of yeah, like, you're not exactly. just this big and time NBA player with yeah. No, yeah, that's like, the thing where we went up there and like, they said what's up, we hop, get out the car, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was all love. One of, one of their birthdays, you yeah. know, there everyone was T having fun. So mm -hmm. T quiz, you got a big yeah. shout out on Instagram. Yeah. Too. <laughs> I mean, it's for me it's everything really because these kids don't get that opportunity and you know, there's tons of guys who I play with I always say who are better than me but they just didn't have whether it was guidance or whatever the case is. So for me, you know, basketball got me a lot of stuff. I got friends who are in different situations that could have been prevented with basketball, but for whatever reason, they didn't pursue it. So for me, I'm just trying to give these kids those tools that I've gained and I've learned and, you know, bring people back that I've met that can help them get to that next level. So, you know, giving back is is all I got, really. You know what I'm saying? Is I want to pave the way for the next, the next kids coming, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. You know, it's always good giving back. You know, you give the kids hope. You know, they see what someone has become, you know, or what someone's doing, or what someone's working towards doing. You know, it gives them hope and you know, a lot of a lot of thought and preparation to where they know what it takes, you mm -hmm. know, to be successful. You know what it takes to, you know, take it to the next level. You know, and, you know, the Vels is giving them a, a, a different opportunity, another opportunity, you know, to make everything happen. You know, who knows what these relationships mm -hmm. uh, could be in the future. Mm -hmm. You know, you never know. This cam might get bigger every year. This, this might be the new thing for in, in Scotia. You, ne mm -hmm. you never know. So mm -hmm. it's always good to start from somewhere and keep giving kids the opportunity to shine. Yeah. And the talent, too. I think about, like, some of the kids that are yeah. coming up. I was like, like, we always had the talent, but mm -hmm. I say around, like, 11, 12, 13, the kids are good. And they get to high school, and it's like they kind of fade off because mm -hmm. of the stuff like that opportunities is not there and you know, they don't really see the value in it. So if we can plant some seeds in these kids from young, yeah. they, can, they can take it from there, right? So. It was like Toronto back, back in the exactly. day where no, exactly. no one from Canada, no one, no one 
no one from, no one from Canada was going to the States or, yeah. you know, make it into the NBA. But now, you know, all it takes is for a couple of people to open the doors and mm-hmm. voila. And you're yeah. one of those people that, yeah. you know, uh, that for, the newer, for the for newer, newer generation, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, but there's, sure. there's people before me that kind of opened for the doors sure. for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, and it's like the, the steps, like just, they, they did that like and you, you know, like, push it further. I'll put a Nova Scotia an example. There was older guys than me, guys like Sugar Lou Tyson, you know, who, Younger people don't know him, but like he would play in a black tournament. He was the greatest thing I ever seen, but he was just a black tournament star. Mm-hmm. Played high school ball. That's it. So guys like before me would see him. So he had the Chris Johnson. So they see him play black tournament in high school. They're like, all right, I can go a step further. So they went to Division One. Mm-hmm. Guys like me, I seen Chris Johnson go to Division One. I'm like, all right, I can go a step further. Team Canada, whatever. And then we got guys coming after me who see me go there, and they're like, all right. I can go to the league, and it's just steps after steps after mm-hmm. steps, and they just continue to see people who are close to them do it, and we can just go. Now these kids are going to see Andrew Wiggins. He feel like he can be better than Andrew Wiggins. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's just yeah, taking work those steps. Yeah, The game. It's way it's deeper. About life, game. really. Yeah, it's way deeper. Basketball is just it's a vehicle. It's a mm-hmm. tool. You know, I mean, we can you can use it. You know, the NBA is not the be all end all. Yeah, it's true. You know what I'm saying? That's the goal, and that can keep you focused. But from there, you know, you get the school paid for, you can meet people and all travel. Kinds of things. You can go travel the world. Exactly. Yeah. That's it. Bless up. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>